Hello everybody and welcome to another new series of CK3, a Game of Thrones in the latest open beta build. Of course, this update has occurred when I am due to be in a different country for the entire week. So one, I don't know when you're seeing this video. Two, I don't know when the next part is going to be, but we're going to have a lot of a Game of Thrones content coming back to the channel now that the update is out. I will be doing the next part of my Everything Guide series is whether that's going to be the re-looking at the Villain and Steel Swords or another go on the buildings. I'm not sure yet. Either way, those will be coming starting in July as well as a continuation of this series. Today, we are going to be playing as none other than Peter Baelish, Littlefinger, both to test the spider intrigue tree and to see how close to the top we can get with using spies and the new Intrigue mechanics. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, we are the 16-year-old Lord Peter Littlefinger of Midlaw Point. We are of House Baelish, which I do think have a really cool house sigil. And we are a small little count all the way out in the fingers here within the veil. Uh, I know this is going to be back-to-back -back veil series, but we're going to have to work our way up. First, we're obviously going to try and get ourselves a touchy, and then we're going to try and get ourselves, you know, elsewhere. Delicate, scarred, genius, scheme. I start with schema. That's amazing, which means we will be able to start working directly. We don't have the stats for schema, though. We start as a schema, but we don't have the stats for it. That's annoying. So we are still going to have to go down this pot line, but I am going to go down the spy network line first and foremost. But yes, we are going to have to go find ourselves some spies. And one of our challenges, I think I want to try and do, try and marry one of the Tullys if I can. My infatuation with the family is, of course, paramount for the uh, the choices, shall we say, that Baelish takes. That's going to be my challenge, is to see how far I can get with Peter Baelish and um, maybe his offspring for the next video. But this one's going to be mainly about Peter. So one of the things I want to do is try and find some decent spy people to become spies. Intrigue people to become spies. So this Jane here who is in my Lord's Court, I want to see, can I recruit her as a spy if I bribe her? I can. Okay. Let's grab this fingerman here and uh, see what we can do. I think I will also unpause the video. Oh, I can add an aspect patron. Hang on. Any of these give me intrigue? I think the stranger or the crone. No, I think I'm going to go with the stranger. It's going to be fine. And do I try and find a wife or do I hold off for one of my lovers? Maybe I try and hold off for one of the lovers. We shall see. Anyway, Midlaws 4 is pretty cruddy. I don't know what I'm going to be getting over here to give us some... I think I'm going to have to get a trade port to try and get some income better. But we do start off with a lot of money, which is real useful. We have bombards? Not sure we're meant to have bombards, but okay. Good to know. There's this Becker in Lord John Aaron's court that I want to try and recruit as a spy. I, money won't do it. She's shy. Can I seduce her? No. She dislikes my ambition. Okay, that's annoying. Um, what about, who else is there in John Aaron's court? Can I recruit Lisa as a, can I make her a spy? Despite her being my lover, I can't. Oh, because her opinion of John Aaron's pretty good. I think I need to work on getting in charge of our little region here. So I, one of the things I want to do, I want these guys to have a kid if they can. She's sterile, so that's not going to happen. My spy that I just paid for was caught. Hmm, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, let's sort out this council as well, because they are diabolical. Ooh, a bastard born. There is no longer the slightest doubt in my mind. My lover, Lady Paramount Lisa, has given birth to her son. We both know that I am the father. Thankfully, Lisa has kept quiet about me, and no one else knows the truth, at least for now. Uh, I must be very careful about this. So, right, Raymond Aaron is actually of my issue, shall we say. She's almost able to become a spy for me. Oh, Lisa. Yeah, the um, opinion modifier of me is helping. Oh, I just gained a claim on my Liege's title. Hmm. Okay. I managed to get Lisa as a spy. There we go. I'm going to grab the fabricate hook scheme because I want to try and fabricate a hook on my Liege to make me his... Oh, wait, my lord. I was... Becca tries to protect. Yes. 
Give me her non-believer secret. Oh, that's fun that they the spies inform me of stuff that's going on in their court. That's that's really useful. Um, no, I want to fabricate a hook on my liege's heir, I think. Let's attempt that. I'm in stone. What is this? It was a liberty war under my liege. Interesting. Okay, so now if I blackmail her for a hook, can I use that to make her a spy? Oh, I have another bastard. Oh, I can. Oh, so she now spies for me. Oh, that's amazing. I like that a lot. And also, John Aaron died. So Jasper is now in the throne. Oh, can I, can I, can I invite her to court? Invite my lover to court? Yes. Can I, can I not arrange marriage? Oh, because she's widowed. May not marry. Oh. Oh, it looks like we'll just have bastards together. It's totally fine. Right, now I can expose the... I, can I expose that those are my kids? Ooh. Wait for the kids to be, come onto the throne and then... Ooh. Is that a thing I can do? Bloom in the wilderness. I've seen Desdemona turn down more advances than I can count. A lesser man would be intimidated, but I have happily taken the opportunity to study their mistakes. I am ready. Our conversation flows smoothly. I did not expect to have so much common with a barmaid. As I get up to leave, Desdemona puts her hand on my arm and asks if I want a room for the night. A room for two, judging by the look in her eyes. Um, show me the way. Show me the way. So yes, like I was saying, so Raymond and Durston, can I? That means I would have to try and murder one of her sons. But let's put one of my bastards on the throne. I'm going to bribe Lord Horton of Strongstone to help me. Oh, Lord Horton's trying to murder it. They're trying to overthrow the child as well now. A liberty war. Else she'll be... I'll be merciful. You stop your scheming. Can I make her... I can make Lisa my spy master. That's far better. Please do that. Keep her nice and close. Oh no, Lisa Tully was just imprisoned. Can I pay her ransom? Yes, I'd pay her ransom. And there goes the mangled corpse of Jasper. The search went on long into the night before it was called off and reconvened at dawn. It was only then the body found bloodied, mangled, and torn apart after attack by some vicious, hungry beasts. At least I hope it was a beast's doing. Thankfully, everyone agrees the terrible tragedy and my involvement in the existence of any scheme remains unknown. Poor, poor Jasper of the Vale. I'm also very convincing now, apparently. Yes, no, please give me Lisa Tully back so she can go back to being my... Oh, she's gone to... I actually, she's gone back to our children's court. I'm kind of okay with that. She's still my spy. No, she's no longer my spy. She's now my spy again. A spy in that court is totally fine. The thing is, I shouldn't be too infatuated with Lady Lisa because if you don't know the backstory of why uh, Littlefinger's... Basically, Lisa likes Littlefinger, but Littlefinger likes Caitlyn. So we should try and marry or try and get with Catelyn Stark. That's got to be our go, I think. Currently having all the... Who the hell is... Ah, uh, uh, yes, there's totally new... Mm, got a feeling that that is not from Ned or Caitlyn. Catelyn Stark might have some lovers. Interesting. We just got a scheme, uh, a claim on Midlaw. I want to try and take Midlaw. So I've got two provinces under this duchy. And I have way more troops than the Midlaw. So let us declare war. There we have Midlaw being thicken. Very, very nice. Um, I will now set my... Oh gosh, I need a better marshal than that. Yeah, assign you to increase in control in Midlaw. Good, good, good. Wait, I didn't get the option to know that Lord Dustin is mine. Don't want to expose those yet. I need to try and get some um, spies now. Help me overthrow. Mm. Do I just take all of the land from underneath province by province? Maybe that is a good idea. I, I think I'm going to take a wife. And I think it's going to be this Elaine here. A lowborn. But um, that is some serious intrigue. So I just gained another claim over here. And I'm going to go to war. Be very key secret about this bastard. And my wife is pregnant. Okay. I have just gotten Varys the Spider as a spy and informant for me. I don't know what my spy cap is, but I'm I'm certainly enjoying the list I've got. Oh, you've been in prison somewhere. You are no longer my spy because you were in prison. So you lose spies when someone goes to prison. So that's that's the offset for them. My wife is pregnant. Again, the first child sadly didn't was a, was a stillborn, so Yet to have an heir. I have a daughter born and I'm going to, of course, name her. 
Oh, I'm going to name her Catelyn, aren't I? They are Catelyn, my daughter. Right, I think I am going to try and overthrow my liege, but I'm going to wait until I've got more control over my territories so I can get more levies out of it. Um, just a little bit. Just a little bit. So one of my problems is I'm really struggling for people with good marshal. Oh, the young Griff invasion is happening. He's 17 this time. He's refusing marriage. Interesting. Let's see how that goes. I'm staying neutral right now. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. The Reach is staying out of it, I think. Oh, Old Town and Dawn have joined the rebels. Oh boy. That's very interesting. So I'm going to quickly expose one of Lady Lisa's... I think the secret is out of who your father is, boy. I gained the trait Adulterer. It's kind of okay. And I'm going to try and seduce my wife. It's, it's all going to be fine. Chaos is a ladder. I just got a non-believer secret exposition on Barristan Selmy. So he's now one of my spies. Let me know what's going in there, please. Oh no, I've become infirm. I didn't realize I didn't have a maester, so that's not good. Oh, this sucks. I'll begin spreading some rumors. I'm in debt, so I can't declare any wards as well. So it's going to go to my kid. It's going to be up to my kid, I think. Catelyn Baelish. A little experimentation. A long evening of state business with Lady Elaine has slowly degenerated into us both in being deep about our cups, slurringly swapping saucy stories. I have just finished my retelling of a tale of the seductive charms of some exotic sea monsters. When I see an untoward gleam in my companion's eyes, thoughts of blackmail race unbidden to my mind. Perhaps Lady Elaine is actually a little keener on the subject than she knows. Oh yes, uh, <laughs> Lady Elaine discovers a new hobby. Lady Elaine gets the secret deviant. Okay, so uh, my wife is a, a deviant. And so am I, apparently. Good. Oh no, I just had a son and he's far worse. Also, apologies, I've got my AC on now because it's 30 degrees right in my office. So my liege has an alliance that's really going to bug us here against uh, with uh, Crow's, sorry, Crown Crest through his new wife. I am going to have to murder his new wife in order to get rid of that alliance. So uh, let us try. Now, do I have any agents I can invite to this scheme? No one of use. I think it's probably better I just let it be as is. Oh, there's another realm war and Edmure Tully is uh, risen again. So it's the North and the Stormlands and the Iron Throne versus currently another sort of mix. See no reason to get involved. But it's, uh, that's a relatively even rebellion this time around. Oh, and our liege has gotten involved and we killed that vassal of our lord. Disloyal to him during war. Well, okay. That's annoying. Oh, Lord Rain Reynold of the Crag just executed Lisa because he's. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Just found out I was, she was my spy. That's, that's a little rough, I have to say. That's a little rough. Yep, you'll go to the wall. If you've been found as a spy against me, you'll go to the wall. Okay, it begins. I'm going to betroth my daughter, Catelyn Baelish, to Lord Andor or Andar of Runestone. Get him as an ally and use this to overthrow my liege. There we go. Let us call in Andar. Yes, and uh, raise my troops here. Should have raised my... Uh, should have stationed my guys first. And I will also recruit her as a spy, I think. Yoink. Good little girl. And let's fight this out. I want the High Lordship. So there we go. Caught them in combat. And on we walk. Going in Newcastle. Yeah, help me with more hostile schemes. I think so many murder plots at once would be very interesting. Missing an admiral. My daughter is of age. She is super good at what she does as well. She is a... Absolute mastermind deceiver. And good, I am now the High Lord of Greyholm. Oh no, my daughter's husband was killed. Uh, I wonder who could have done such a thing. Time to start marrying her out somewhere else and see if I can't gain control. Maybe. Is there any of the Arons that I can marry her to? Mm, maybe not. Someone failed to murder me. You will not harm him, Lady Elaine shouted as she leapt to the shadowy figure that had entered my chambers. Dagger unsheathed. <gasps> my wife was just murdered. 
was do or died in the duel protecting me. Oh my gosh. And right at the same time, people have risen up, up from beneath me. Um, I need... Yeah, okay. I need sort by alliance power. Old town? Sure. That's very upsetting uh, that I'm now at war. Oh god, I'm now remembering my other dead lovers. Of which there are many. Right, I think I'm going to have to go for a little bit of a divide and conquer strategy here. Unless they group up like that. Let's call in Old Town. And there's an ice cream fan outside my... I kind of want ice cream. I'll be right... So I'm currently trying to divide and conquer. However, I'm losing quite a lot of knights. Um, which is a problem. Really? Kind of a problem. I think some of my allies just showed up. They did indeed. That's helpful. Okay, we should be fine. And enforce demands. Okay, I've got some uh, vassals to... Let's revoke some territory. Oh, I need better crown authority. Well, that's uh, done. Let's... Feudal contract. Oh... Boom, that's changed. And you can just be revoked. So, at this wedding here, I'm going to... Not this son, I want this kid to send be sent to the Citadel uh, eventually. But I'm going to try and use this to murder the, <gasps> the father of the bride. Purely because that will then open it up to have... Unless his husband eventually maybe make that throne. That's the plane. The Lord's... Of light. One inauspicious night, you are left alone in your study, mulling over the reports of the details left usually left to lower men. Suddenly, your door cracks open. Without ceremony, a woman walks in. She wears all red, her hair is fire, and she speaks in a deep, strangely melodic voice. She is beautiful, alluring. For a moment, you wonder if, she, if you have not fallen asleep. But when you blink, she's still there. The red woman tells you of a prophecy of a lord of light and a name you recognize from lessons long ago. Hazora High, the wielder of Lightbringer, born amidst the salt and smoke and the savior of the known world. She whispers into your ear, telling you that the time has come for you to finally achieve your glories and fulfill the augries already seen in the temples far away as Asai. All you need to do is now seize it. Uh, hmm. Ah, guards, assassin. Get rid of her. <laughs> my first son who I renamed Corwin Baelish I've just made them a septon because they're only quick and uh, I had a better son come along that I've now named Peter who is literally kind of a copy of me we are working on things we are definitely working on things and a dangerous journey here thanks to the brilliant planning hired by my thugs Lord Harwin is finally dead mm, that's good conveniently the most of the bandits were slain or even better and the dead do not speak no one knows of my involvement Ha, fantastic. So, his heir is Domas, whose son is John Baelish. So, uh, Domas there is now in line for his father's realm. Fantastic. Uh, and everyone now knows that I am the father of this tally boy. The boy who just died. Oh, Pinksroth just died, and I... No, no. Well, no, it's fine. I didn't have any daughters or anything that, um... Oh, sorry, I didn't... I didn't uh, yeah. You know what, kid? Can I invite you to court? No, I can't. Okay, fine. I was gonna say, I've got some land I can give you. So, I'm trying to fabricate a hook scheme on my Lord Paramount. There is a lady that has a strong hook on me because she found out about some of the blackmail -y stuff. So, I'm trying to murder her, and I'm also just swaying my leash as well. Just, just in case. Just in case I need to, you know? Just make him like me ever more and more. No, I'd like a stronger hook than a weak hook. And the agitated peasants murdered her. Fantastic. She no longer has a hook on me. Not swaying this guy. I think try and get him as a spy. I'll uh, blackmail you for murder. Right, I'm going to try and overthrow the wife of the Lord Paramount as regent. So we're going to... I'm going to try and overthrow the regency. It's a really interesting one. No! I throw away my covers the moment I feel something brush against my leg, but the swift moment I only realize agitates the snake. Even in the dark room, I recognize the viper. How has it ended up in my bed? I can barely feel its bite at first, but soon the burning pain flows through my body. I call for help, but even with my best physician by my side, the world slowly fades from me. I was murdered! Holy moly, died under suspicious circumstances. So now Peter 
oh, of Grimhold's soul has finally been cast to the seven hells at the age of 62. He died under suspicious circumstances. The shameless fornicator will be remembered for his uncontrollable and insidious lust. Lord Peter ascends to the throne. His eye is always set upon the next target. Of the vassals of the realm do well to lock up their spouses as Peter takes to the throne. And we are playing as Lord Peter, who is the son of Peter. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're back with the Baelishes. We are currently the High Lord of Grimholm. Uh, it's, it's a few areas of the fingers. Runestone, I forget, starts with a big chunk over here. If we had the troops, maybe we should try and take that and go for, like, all of the, the Fingerman territory as, as, like, a little bit of a goal. But um, the other thing is we have... Well, we have Baelishes on the way for... Snakewood Forest um, as the Lindelys are getting kicked out uh, through tactical breeding but no our real goal here is to try and get in charge of the veil vale through uh, less direct means however we are on foreign affairs focus why was I on foreign affairs focus why have I picked diplomacy what was I doing oh, I think I was going to go for friendships I wanted to be able to pick up a friend I'm back from the USA, by the way, now. Hello. I'm, b I'm back. Yeah. I, y yes. Let's play. Okay, let's kick it off right away. We've got a daughter, Marine. Uh, I, I like that. And she's intelligent and pretty. I'm not quite as good as our geni beautiful genius son, but that's pretty pretty decent. They want me to be Spy Master of the Veil. Vale. Okay, it's it's beginning. Right, we need spies in our Lieges court. We need... This is the Lieges Council right now. We have Lord Owen, who is High Lord of North Breach. Interesting. Ooh, strong song. No, that's right. We need... It has to be unlanded people have to be spies, correct? So, what's his wife like? Uh, ooh, she's a house hunter. Who do we have sought by intrigue? Wow, really? There is no one with a good intrigue in this court. Both a benefit and a curse. Don't seem to be able to hire them as... I think that's because that was guests. Oh, no, there are. There we go. I'll buy Intrigue and we're fine. Uh, recruit you as a spy. Will you want a bribe help? No. But if I start to befriend this man, I might be better off. Either way, let's start trying to sway them. And we'll go from there. And I'm already not Spy Master of the Veil. Vale. I forgot this, apparently, between the episodes. Lord Peter, I know that you're Lord Peter's real killer. I apparently killed my father. Oh, I actually did. Died under suspicious circumstances. Oh, you can have a strong hook on me. Damn. Okay, so I'm checking out a local tournament. I don't exactly want to... Okay, I'm in the joust. I'm just going to double check who might be available as a murder target. Oh. Oh. Hello. Bench caught strong song. I will definitely try to murder him if I can. Yeah, if I can, I don't really want to be taking part in the actual joust just to watch the red coin. I'm making my way back from the privy, winding my way between two tens. Only for a hand to be clapped firmly across my mouth from behind. Be quiet. When I let you speak, can you do that? My muffled acquiescence satisfied the voice. And I spin on my heels to find the stranger in an unusual garb. A small item is instantly pressed into my hand. I need this to be looked after. It's of great importance to me. I shall return for it. If I do not, a strangely weary smile flits across the stranger's mouth. Then consider it my gift to you. I look down, nestled within my palm is a golden but curious red coin. It lies there dully, somewhat warm to the touch. I'll keep this to it for you. Sarion. Uh, interesting. A bow crossed. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll promote Lord Lucas there. I don't think I'm going to be able to murder my target. That's a really nice house sigil, Wiltwood. About to have the ceremony. Yeah, so I did not in get my murder intent done, but... Ah, it was a nice little off-topic. Oh, dear. I've got a liberty faction. I think I've got allies. I don't don't have allies, apparently, right now. Okay. Okay. Time to alliance power my son. Maybe not my eldest son. Maybe one of my younger sons. I mean, I think I'll be okay, but we'll see. This battle's a lot rougher than I thought it was going to be. Holy moly. Okay, okay. This combat is not going my way, actually. Despite us saying we were going to win this. Mm, not a fan. I do have allies, what was I was going to say. Alright, let's call them in. 
Yeah, we had almost a thousand more men there. I'm guessing men at arms type just kind of carried the day. Luckily, runestones right here. They were about to not join me in this combat. That would have been a major wow. Okay, I need I need people in my lord's court. Oh, isn't he secretly my brother? Hmm. Ooh, I've got a high chance to seduce there. Uh, I, you know what? If I sway you a bit more, I might be able to get you as a spy. An evening meal. As I enter the kitchen, it lies dark and empty, the air heavy with smoke. In a corner, I find Elena's cookbook covered in stains. When cooking liver, it has been noted that excessive beer consumption can significantly lower the quality of the organ. A cold feeling settles in my chest as I turn another page. However, when cooking younger children beneath the age of... Oh my gosh, she is a cannibal. Um, I can have her killed. I can throw her in the dungeons. Or I can gain the cannibal secret and be fine with it. But it was so delicious. Apparently I'm a cannibal now. So I'm going to build a leisure palace here um, because I want the personal and hostile scheme success chance and gain from it. So I think that's going to be super useful in this playthrough. <laughs> I'd also move my capital to second stone. I don't know if I've said that yet, but I did. Andran is now the Lord Paramount of the Vale. He's currently down here in a tournament in the Stormlands. Wait, wait, is another Baratheon? Wait, we got with some... How many Baratheon houses are there now? Okay, so is this after... This is the line that came from, like, Renly? Oh, he's taken, like, Reach colored. See, I like that, but that is also the logo of John D. Attractors. <laughs> Pretty much. It's all good. Totally fine. I do like it, but, um, yeah. So, our friend, our good friend here is away. So, we're currently the regent. So, I'm going to make try and make sure that I'm the regent forever. My agents have learned that Lord Andran is undertaking a journey to the Eyrie. Okay, he's on his way back. Oh, yes. The wilderness can be such a dangerous place. <gasps> oh, no. It came to light. I was behind the attack. <gasps> I just killed my friend and everybody knows about it. Ooh. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting uh, conversation I need to have now as... Oh, wait. I'm, I'm regent. Hmm. Uh, looks like I've got to try and keep this regency for a little while. They... <gasps> Absolutely hate me. Who's your heir? Can I abduct your heir? You f***ing what, mate? So I can swing the scales again now on the 6th. 6th of the 6th moon next year. Mandate. A rare talent. Oh, the scales of power are slowly flipping in my favor. And what is this? A liberty war. That's kind of okay. As long as they don't come down and squeeze me. So I'm currently trying to do some sneakies against the Royces. Uh, I've had this one discovered, but it's on the... I'm trying to get my spy. I've got a spy over here to join, and hopefully they'll help tip the balance. I'm also trying to kill this guy's son, because I noticed that um, Lady Lorna the Simple, she has this line on hand on Royce. And then the, the second son is a member of the Kingsguard, so he can't inherit. Therefore, the line of succession would then go to the one that is married into the Baelishes. Let's do some sneakies there. I'm also still pushing the scales of power and uh, trying to get some stuff done. So, um, in a twist of fate there, uh, Hallam Royce just died in this war that he's in against Cold Water Burns uh, and completed my mission for me. So, I'm almost at the final level of the scales of power. No, what? Why, why did that... Did he just dismiss me as regent? Right at the end of it. How did he manage to do that? Oh, he just turned 16, literally as I unpaused to record. He was 15. Oh, that effort. Time to start over again very, very soon. Okay, after a solid amount of murders later, <laughs> like a good amount of Aaron's, uh, we've now got Lady Paramount Gwenna of the Vale. And Robert Baratheon II, the, the King of Beauty and Nobleness, is fighting Howard Greyhelm of House Pyle. Lord, uh, is my liege in charge? My liege is on the defender's side, so I will be on the defender's time. But uh, yes, interesting, interesting. Either way, as I was saying, I have murdered. I'm also currently I'm infirm, sadly, so I don't think I'm going to be around much more. But there's a lot of Aaron's 
in my kill feed. <laughs> Things are about to get probably bloodier. One of my daughters just died. Oh, um, mm, I'm I'm about to die. I think I've got a twenty percent chance to survive. Wow. Yep. There we go. Lord Peter of Grimholm was passed at fifty-six. He died horse riding. Mm, okay. I'm now another Peter. Oh, all of my plans keep getting undone massively. I need an antiquarian. And I am a stewardship focused character. Not for long. <laughs> Into the spy network we go. Oh, and I gained a, a piece of land. Oh, I've got kids. Darian, who is. Oh, he's terrible. Another Peter, who's a little bit better. Who did you murder? Oh, right. Let's. Let's see if I can't sort this all out a little bit more. Well, at least my titles below me like me. So apparently that claimant faction was still going in the background, and we have 602%. So um, my brother's wife is now on the throne of the Vale. Hmm. There are now Baelishes on the throne of the Vale. Or there will be. And we have a Baelish on the Veil. It's not my direct line, though. We are going to work on that, hopefully. Betrothed to my daughter. His sister's betrothed to my son. It's not the line that I'm going to be going down. I think I'm going to tr I've got to try and get Darren Baelish killed, basically. Because I don't want to be down this kid's line. It's not very good. God, it's like I willed it into existence. He's dead. Yes! Um, it was killed by Uther. Problem is, his son is now my heir. Mm, wonder if we can fix that. Yeah, I don't know how I... Uh, I've got to get this... I've got to get a child killed. And I think the only way to do that is abduct it. Oh, no, I can murder. Grandchildren are fine to murder. Actual children, not so much. So, uh... What? Sorry, grandson. I am a tactical genius sometimes. So, right as my previous lord, who was Quarrel here of the Vale, was about to lose their war, I murdered the claimant. So the war went from an overthrow war to a war for the tyranny, which he lost, and it just put my niece in charge, who's married to my son, who's now my heir because of the murder chain. Wah! That is how you intrigue in CK. And they want me to be steward of the veil. Totally, totally fine. And I've been nicknamed the handsome. I could get used to this nickname. Hello, handsome. And finally, Lord Peter's soul has been cast to the seven hells at 62. I'm now Peter again. Funny that. And uh, my wife is the Lord Paramount. So... But it's next time where the Baelishes take the top of the realm. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Baelish series. Now, I'm going to have to do my very, very best here to describe what's happened over a load of footage, as I just recorded for two hours with no audio. So, we were playing as Lord Paramount Peter the Shy. Lord Paramount Peter the Shy had some really, really bad traits. And I could, uh, a lot of interesting things happened. I tried to get him killed instantaneously by botching uh, my uh, an illness. However, he survived and then stayed around for a long time. At one point in the video, uh, he decided to convert to Baylorism, uh, which was really interesting, changed religion. He also got some random knights from from far off uh, Rylor. He, uh, he learned about the Atlantic Ocean uh, at one point. And basically I was playing this character just to kind of build up my territory. And I was also like looking after my wife a couple of times. I'm flagging now because I don't remember. Oh, Oh yes, I went insane. That's right. He became a lunatic for a little while. A little, had a little bit of lunacy going on. But all in all, in the end, turned out to be an okay character. And it really bugs me and pains me to know that all of this, like, what would have been 10 minutes of the episode, is now down the toilet and having to be described by me in voiceover land post facto. We also declare war on Runestone to take some of the uh, other bits of finger territory. I took Runestone and I was, like, in charge of it for all of 20 seconds before going, no. I gave that back to Runestone and just took the fingers. It was fine. It was totally fine. I did a lot of matchmaking, marriages, all sorts of fun things. Anyway, 
Peter also lived a relatively long time. Anyway, we are now playing his son, uh, who has just become the Lord Paramount. Uh, for a while we were playing the son, but not as the Lord Paramount, because our mother was still in charge. She outlived the father. And yes, we're not great. We're a little bit callous. We are a, a, a diplomat. We are steward. We've got a little bit of learning. We're, we're doing okay. Our kids are... And we've just remarried uh, Lady Paramount Philippa. Oh, yeah, we murdered our previous wife, who was the f f mother of our first three kids. Um, we've just remarried to see if we can get some better, like, genial traits back in the line. Because, unfortunately, due to our father's line, uh, we kind of got the short end of the Baelish stick. Uh, whereas most of the other Baelishes have some really nice, like, genius or Herculean or some really cool traits like that. We don't. We, uh, we've we had them bred out, but that's the price to pay when you try to Habsburg your line into the throne. Anyway, here we are. I now need to record this uh, for a long enough time that we've got content. So, um, I don't know why I've now got... Why am I claiming the throne down here? The AI has done some weird things. I can get a claim on all of King's Landing. <laughs> okay, why not? Okay, so I'm going to do... One thing I'm going to do is I think I'm actually going to run as Baylorist, which... Oh, I don't know if I covered that in the beginning. We did the whole Baylorist conversion thing. We're going to do that again right now. And we're going to try and take a lot of us. But yeah, we're going to be Baylorist and see what converts with us. Okay, so we have the veil. So what is our plan now? Well, I feel like one of our plans should be to get ourselves possibly on one of the other thrones or in fact the iron throne uh the iron throne is going to be very difficult to do however but we can, we can see what we can do uh see if there's any baratheons we can take the hand of we will we'll have to see though right now i think this character is going to have to be all about realm stability. Uh, otherwise, we are going to be uh, right back where we started very quickly. So I just sailed all the way to King's Landing. And I also got ill on the journey. And I've been refused. Excuse you. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's on. So I think I'm going to join with the Moon Man. There's a Moon Man culture. Uh, and the Fingerman culture is obviously what we are. So I'm going to try and make a hybrid culture called the Moon Fingerman culture. Because they've got a lot of stuff I think I want here. Form hybrid culture. I'm now the... the we have the Moon Fingerman <laughs> hybridization. Spurred on by positive relations in cultural exchange, the Fingerman and Moon Man peoples have grown increasingly close over the years. Now individuals from these societies have begun to view themselves as not only one or the other, but both simultaneously as the new Moon Fingerman culture. Fingerman traditions and values are on the backbone of this new culture. What's well, various Moon Man... <laughs> Moon Man makes me think of some sort of astronaut. <laughs> Attributes have been adapted and integrated to meet the needs of the new society. With the Moon Fingerman people now looking on to me for guidance, it's time to set the stage for our shared venture. Okay, yeah, we just gained a lot of stuff and we gained some cultural fascinations as well, which is also really nice. Let's grab men at arms as well. It also means that I can make the winged knights as well as I think... Can I make finger scouts still? Oh, but I can make hunters of the moon. Is that bowmen? How much better are they? Uh, hmm. Yeah, they're, they're pretty nice. I do still have finger scouts, and yeah, I can do I can do wing I can do winged knights as well. I do I do have some, which is real cool that I inherited. Oh yeah, I have that claim on King's Landing, like the duchy, not the kingdom. Can I start? Can, I'm gonna start a play claim and see if people push it. Why not? There's a tournament that the new king is holding. You know what? We'll go. We'll go. We'll 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 travel there. It's being held all the way in Echo Hill. Take a forest guide as well. Okay, let's go. Let's let's enjoy a tournament. Okay, so my young daughter Delaney just died. It says died under mysterious circumstances. On the thing, on the event. It said she was murdered by Alanis, and now it's saying Alanis has died, was murdered by Alanis. Did she just, like, <laughs> grab her babysitter sister and yeet them both, both of themselves overboard? <laughs> what? Okay, we're at the Grand Tournament. Let's uh, increase my diplomacy. What do I want to, like, do at this tournament? Oh, I try and recruit some knights. 
perhaps, or I could try and murder my liege. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and recruit. I think. Seek new knights. There we have it. Lord Paramount Peter of the Vale has passed at 70 years of age. We're now Owen. And good, I didn't get depressed. Okay, so I am now Owen. He's actually not as bad as he was like initially. However, his sons are not great at all. Which is rather a problem. When did you get you just got married? I was telling you not to marry. So, don't know what's happened there. Great. Fantastic. Okay, so I've got Administrator already as a perk. Uh, I think I'm going to continue down this line, honestly. Uh, I'm going to just do a bit more on Architect, perhaps. And just keep building up money for a little while. I think maybe as also a minor goal, we tried to get uh, Giant's Lance under our control so we can build in the Eerie properly. Uh, I'd really like to be able to build Jousting Grounds here. Okay, you know, we lost that piece of territory ages ago. I'm going to see if I can get it back from Dawn. But for that, I need to adjust my vassal contract. I'll give you higher levies for sanctioned war. Thank you. Which means now I can attack Dawn. We ride at Dawn. Quite literally, we ride at Dawn. We're going to ride at them with our lances and spears and stuff. They've landed. I actually think it's better. I Can I just detach some besiegers and go and fight this? Think we'll still have more men? Yeah, we should do. I want to get them before they can recover. Oh, big battle. Big battle indeed. Oh, yeah, we did so much damage to them before they could get a lot of their troops in. Boom. <laughs> I love that our leader is an open terrains expert. This is clearly mountains, so maybe I should uh, switch that out, perhaps. But mm, Paramountcy of Dawn are losing right now. Being led by a Lannister? Interesting. Do we have anyone who is a... We do have one rough terrain expert, but I think the martial skill just on Denzo is better. Just full stop better. We call them again. We're doing a lot of damage to them. A lot of damage to them. Are they going to, like, land on the siege? This could be bad. Or or not, if we can catch them. God, I just don't have any siege equipment. I'm about to go into debt. I've got to remember for next war, I need siege equipment. We've got how necessary it is in this mod. What the? House Deadings just took over. My goal is still the same. Uh, and I'm going to split my army as to get some supply. Resupply my troops. Wow, they won Dawn mid-war. Thanks to Faction Command. Interesting. So, my second son... Is, sorry, third son. Uh, one, third son, second son who's alive, is married to the eldest daughter of the current king. I need to do some murdering. In fact, I only need to do one, and that's murder Prince Wilhelm here. At least for now. Any boy that is born of this marriage will die. I just got brutally mauled in this hunt. I think I'm okay, though. I think I just got it treated to be wounded, but damn. Wilhelm's time has come. All things eventually fall. Kingdoms, lords, children pushed from high places. My agent will leave a trail of sweets leading up and up enough, high enough to set little William's stomach tingling. Once at the top, he will find a basket full of treats hanging over the wall. And as he reaches down to untie the rope, it will so easily slip. A tragedy, truly. And um, he fell by accident. Time to revoke the High Lordship of the Giant's Lance. Boom. Let's see if he rises in rebellion. Nope, he doesn't. Oh, the Arons. The Arons are essentially unlanded outside of Goldtown now, I believe. Yep, the Arons are pretty much can just go away now. They're out, out, out of sight, out of mind. Let's get someone to be in charge of the bloody gates, however. You know what? Let's go with Crispin, whose wife is set to be the uh, next Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Give him the gates of the moon and give him the blood gates as well. Whoa, my lord. My knight Glendon approaches me with a wide grin, sweat dripping down his forehead and, a, and soot smeared across his face. I have toiled over the forge for many days and nights, but my work is finally done. He presents me with an object wrapped in cloth as I unveil my eyes grow wide. A long spear masterfully crafted with, and wrought with a wrought iron head has been etched to feature different valorous motifs. Then the mounted upon a stir de maple shaft. This is a weapon that is elegant as it is deadly. Hell yeah. This is nice. It's actually not that good. But I 
apparently have a Valyrian steel sword in my inventory that I didn't know about. Sorry, how did I get the Duskendale's sword? Yeah, okay, Moon Moonfinger sword is awesome, but uh, I will take the uh, the blade, please. It's actually like one of the best Valyrian steel swords for martial characters and control characters. This is okay, fine. Actually, no, I know who I'm giving it to. Where is he? Yes, my acclaimed knight. I have. Been, this guy has been serving my family for like three generations now. I'm gonna gift it to him. I'm gonna gift the spear of awesomeness to him. Oh no, the 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 king has had another child. Sorry, little five-year-old. It's time to find a nice tower of the castle to push you out of. Let's hope it works. Sturdy hammer. Okay, yeah, uh, let's give that to. No, let's give this son. My, give my son a prize. Oh, another little Baratheon boy left a mangled corpse on the cobblestones after they've fallen from a large height. I didn't actually think I'd get the same thing twice, but we did. Um, and yeah, she, the, the, the new the, the queen's definitely not going to be young enough to have another. So um, secured. I'm currently see if I can try and get a claim on an artifact. Mainly, I'm, I'm doing this as a test, actually, for a, for a future uh, video. So I'm just trying to remember how to do artifact claim wars. And I'm kind of doing it through marriage, seeing if it's possible to do it through marriage. So, yeah, I'm currently trying to get a alliance with the Felop Dragon. And Lord Paramount Owen has died at 76. I'm now Lord Paramount Owen. Oh, no, I'm very over the limit on land. OK, no, this is fine. I have a plan. I have a plan here. You get that. Uh, that's already down a few. OK. OK, so Lord Gwen is in line for the Iron Throne now by quite a bit. But his my nephew, his younger brother, is married into my granddaughter. So that is the one I want to take over. So we need to murder Lord Gwen here uh, of the Moon Gates. And uh, I need to grab some agents to do so. Uh, you can be convinced. That's perfect. And that gets us there. Several days later. Okay, I'm just getting back into recording this. Trying to finish off the campaign. this campaign. Uh, it's been a very, very busy time. Uh, I open the game and we've got a Liberty Faction. I will not be threatened. That's a big old Liberty Faction. Oh, good. Right. Do I have allies? It's been a while. I could have stationed some of my men at arms. Men at arms. Okay. It's just the pikemen that have become unstationed because I've gained an extra 500 from someone. Uh, this can be very ex expensive. Yeah, this can be very expensive. Uh, do I have allies? Do I have... <sighs> don't think I do. I can negotiate alliances inside my realm. All inside my realm. Right, my half-sister. Someone who can come to my aid. Alliance power. That's the reach, right? Yeah, let's marry into the reach. You, can I call a war? Yes. Please come and help me because this is a stupid amount for a Liberty War. And now we have enough men, hopefully. I've just got to survive. Right. So the leader of this is oh, it's you, the guy who rose up in Snakewood. OK, well, I'd like to beat you because I'd like to take your land. Ugh. OK, what's my OK? I, I can supply my army by sitting in my capital. I'm going to go sit in my capital. I'll wait for the reach to bloody turn up. I only, only managed to get 20,000 men there. I'm gonna go siege this here, I think. We get things to worry about right now. Yeah, there's 40,000 there. 40,000 coming from the Reach. Okay, Reachmen, follow me. I am so much faster than the Reach's army. They've attacked me. Reach, reinforce, Reach, reinforce, Reach, reinforce, Reach, reinforce. Jesus! Oh, gosh, this battle. It was so close. We almost lost this. We so almost lost this. Holy moly. Victory, though. Let's try and de-siege this fort if we can. Oh, really? Why am I also now depressed? Okay, I'm infirm and melancholic. I'm going to be my new character very soon. Uh, who will be Jorance. Rather, my daughter was not a Kraven, but okay. You should be callous. Nope. Nope. Okay, she can't be callous. Lost my maester. Do I have to send for one from the Citadel? Oh, I apparently already have a maester. Oh, they're also infirm and terrible. Oh, God. They're... They're attacking me whilst there's another battle going on. I think I'm going to hold this. Oh, yeah, just in time. We have a lot of knights that really helps. These guys do not, but they've got some decent commanders. We've got that D siege, 97%. Okay, this is going to turn out real nice because we're going to have... We can re reevaluate some of our land. I think we just go five speed. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding? Baron Robin had a, 
a four-year-old that I didn't notice. Oh, child, child need to die. Child needs to die. Right as he died, I noticed there was like, hey, that wasn't my family member that went, or the one that was married to my family that went to the throne. So, um, God, look at these agents. It's another child falling from the buildings. And there we have it. My sister-in-law. I am now Marshal of the Info. Not sister-in-law anymore, but uh, her son is in my prison, though, so that might not go down well. Who would be her heir? Would it be him? It's the line of succession now. How did you get stout stone? Oh, because your mother's a Templeton. Ah. The queen is dead. Long live King Jamond, who drove to my granddaughter he's my great grandson no great he's my grand nephew either way he's on the iron throne i'm currently his educator and uh it's a baelish we have a baelish on the iron throne so i'm gonna play around a little bit more see if i can't get my line a little bit closer but it's a couple generations away we've essentially done it i just want to basically make sure the line is secure for a little while and uh yeah this might be the end of the video this might not we'll see if anything cool happens And Lord Paramount Owen has died. So now we are Jorance. My main issue is I'm probably going to get Civil Ward pretty soon, pretty hard, if I'm not careful. So let me check how many council. Oh no, there's a claimant war for the Vale. I will not be threatened. I'm going to keep that going. I'm actually going to raise all my troops over here. God, they have 60,000 troops. Okay, I managed to get Dawn as an ally, and apparently we are just being clapped in this battle despite having 20,000 more men. It's Dawn's army over there. Don't know if I'm going to be able to save that. No, nope. Dawn are going to lose me this war, I think. It's my liege of age yet, so I'd love to go and petition him this. I'm massively in debt now. Wow, the king did nothing for this war. Oh, we had double the troops, now we have under the air amount. Jesus, uh, damn it, they found my scheme to murder the person claiming the throne as well. Oh, God, it's a Liberty faction as well. I'm hoping these two factions fight each other. Everything's on fire. Moment of truth, let's see if these factions fight each other. I think they do. 91% though on the loss of the veil. My cousin. Non-matchly married to a Linda Lee as well. Who the... Why does she have claims? Why do they all have claims? They shouldn't do. They, they don't come down the right line. Ugh. Okay, we've recovered our manpower enough that I'm going to try and de-siege this. Buy me some time. Someone's landed on the capital. I'm going to have to go swing and get them. I'm not sure which army this one's from, but they're going to die. Hopefully it's these guys and not these guys. But at this point, no, okay, it was from those guys. Totally fine, though, I guess, at this point. But I'm just in massive amounts of debt, but I think I'm going to win this. It's just we can't seem to do open battle against these guys very easily at all. So my plan is to de-siege this territory and then go siege Hearth's home. Come on, follow me. These guys can be wiped pieced out. Jesus, my debt. Absolutely ridiculous. So, so much debt. <gasps> Oh, uh, here we go again. Hopefully, it won't be uh, as big a one this time. How many? How many men? How many people am I fighting? Wow! Oh God! Oh, I'm never gonna get out of this debt. Oh yeah! Put catch him on the island. Oh, this could be so good. Well, they all got off real quickly. These ones didn't. Do oh yeah, we can just start. We can just cycle charge these ones. Massacre! Absolute massacre! Only 10,000 though. All right, we need to go siege down half time. Let's try and get this done. Bloody call Braze. I right, know we're going back over here. Thorn hasn't followed me. This is real freaking bad. They capture me, I'm dead. Hello, allies. If I do this, I'm like an unpause one speed. Nope. Uh, we're going to lose the capital. I white piece. I have to white piece. And I'm back it's exactly where I was in the debt as well. Sweet Jesus. Wishing I wasn't this badly over the domain limit. I'll grab my grant, grant my daughter titles, so I'm a little screwed there. Okay, with my daughter and heir in line for the, uh, uh, and her family in complete control of the Iron Throne, I feel pretty good as this to be a place to stop this Baelish campaign. I think we did well. This initially was started as a test for the spy mechanics, but I always found myself not really using them. Uh, they're a lovely touch, but... They're not totally game-changing in the end as, as much as I thought they would be. Either way, I hope you've all enjoyed this series. Let me know in the comments down below what series you'd like to see next. I've been Midge Man. Bye-bye now. Well, wasn't that fantastic? You've been watching the Modge Channel, the infamous second channel of the Midge Man Network. 
Thank you to our editing team for creating this video. And if you haven't already, make sure you follow Mitch Man on all his social media. I have been Bodge, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.